Good afternoon, Graham Goodings for TENS Eyewitness News. Crime squad detectives investigating the discovery of the body of a 40-year-old woman in a reserve near Elizabeth. It's thought she may have been the victim of a sexual attack. We'll have the full story tonight at six. Ford Australia will be a major sponsor in this year's Formula One Grand Prix, which will be raced through Adelaide streets on October 26. Ford will sponsor the national final of the Motorcraft Formula Ford series, as well as celebrity races at this year's event. Ford will also provide 25 cars for celebrities to drive during the celebrity races. The United States Senate has taken a first step towards what many senators expect to be a quick passage of strong sanctions against South Africa. In the first Senate hearing on sanctions this year, Senators Edward Kennedy and Lowell Weicker called for almost total economic withdrawal. A House Senate committee will meet to reconcile whatever measures are passed by the Senate and a tough anti-apartheid bill passed by the House of Representatives last month. President Reagan, expressing his opposition to punitive measures, will uh, not vote on the issue. Well, while Britain gears up for next week's royal wedding, there were celebrations of a different kind in Wales where Princess Diana visited the Royal Mint to mark its anniversary. They're celebrating 1,100 years of coin making at the Mint, from where no fewer than 64 countries obtain their coinage. There's usually strict security here, but did that royal hand find the £2 Commonwealth Games commemorative coin just too attractive to leave behind? The princess also saw the precious metals unit where a silver medal marking next week's royal wedding has been struck. On a walkabout later, the princess was to find that not everyone was quite so generous. 18-month-old toddler Kate Williams was all primed to hand over a posy of flowers. Ben simply refused to give them up, even for a princess. Finally the weather. It's cold and overcast in Adelaide and just 10 degrees. Well, for a roundup of all the day's top stories, join us tonight at 6 for 10's Eyewitness News.